Oh, steady. Be brave, ride for a nine so she does and I go steady. So it's another vlog day. It's Saturday. I have mucked out the horses and had breakfast already. I have a cold sore, so that's joyous for a vlog day. Um, I can tell you what that big news is, by the way. And yeah, I'm gonna talk to you later, but now I've gotta go and do the yard for a bit. But it's a big day, by the way, big day. Big news for the YouTube crew, Wilfie got 15 ones. 15! 15! We're one step closer to Grand Prix. Oh, I've got something in my eye. We have a situation with the hose pipe. I'm just gonna do some mucking out and then maybe do some more jobs and then I'll talk to you because I've got a million and one things I need to tell you. Maybe I should have just vlogged from the beginning of the day, but I didn't. <laughs> When Drake made this song, do you reckon he was sat there like, they'll play this in the club, they'll play this in the bars, people will play it when they're cruising, when they're mucking out. It's about tea. Sprout, be careful. So I've just mucked out the babies. By the way, has anyone noticed how I always start sentences with so? Sometimes I have to edit them out because I've said it so many times. Anyway, <clears throat> so I've mucked the babies out and now I am going to wash Molly because it's um, it's Molly's first show today, everyone. Our first homebred is going to his first show. So Molly is a four-year-old, for anyone who doesn't know, and it's his first show. I haven't mentioned that. Um, we are doing Novice 23. I've got so many different emotions going around about this, so I'll have to talk to you when I'm getting ready later. Um, but let's go get him ready. And... Should I tell you what the big news is now? Let's go for it. Um, you will have seen if you're on my Facebook and my Instagram that I've released it. And I think I'm going to release a video onto YouTube about it. But basically, drum roll. That's not a drum roll. Um, I am making videos for the FEI now. <gasps> By the way, if you don't know what the FEI is, it's the Federation for All Equestrian Sports. Like, they're pretty much a big deal. You know what I was saying in the last one? pretty much big deal. So um, yeah, I'm literally like gobsmacked and I don't think I'm explaining it very well because I've just released it and messages are like flooding in about how much everyone liked the video. And I'm like a bit overwhelmed and a bit like, whoa, this is insane. Um, so I don't feel like I've quite come down to earth about it yet. Um, but what's really cool with it is I get to, what I really wanted to do when I started this journey is talk about mindset and that stuff but also make dressage more accessible to everyone because I think it's quite um it's portrayed as quite an elitist sport and I don't think that's like well I'm within the sport I don't think that's like the true portrayal of it 
I think, you know, there's so many different kinds of riders and horses out there and they deserve to have the limelight and be spoken about because I think that's just what the importance of dressage is. It's that bond between horse and rider, not just going to the Olympics and winning and all this sort of thing. So I'm really passionate about opening it up to that and also so the FEI, which is really cool. Um, so we're teaming up to make videos. <gasps> Woo! But that's basically, that's basically it kids, that's my news. So um, make sure to head over to the FEI and subscribe because there'll be videos from moi over there. Mm. <gasps> Big day honey! Big day! Mm. So we use human conditioner on the horses. Any different kind. Ooh. This one's a repair one because Molly has a thin tail. Oh, it smells so good. So we don't brush our tails either. We um, use a lot of conditioner and pick through them to save the, save the hair. Oh, what is that? Oh. Oh. I'm just helping mum lunge something and I'll show you her poles in a minute and then I don't really know what I'm doing just doing the yard so this is one of mum's little grid setups pretty funky hey and then you have the cavalettis over there but I'll just do a little aerial shot She's so clever, isn't she? Good girl, it's all right. Good girl, good girl. Oh, I've got hiccups. Good girl. Oh, she's so clever. Oh, just doing an Instagram live. Oh. It's the first time Barbie's gone over these poles. Do you school them all every day? So many questions. No. We only school the older ones Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. The younger ones only go in the school three times a week and they go hacking on Wednesdays. And with three-year-olds, um, get rid of them once a week and go hacking once a week. So I guess they get rid of them twice a week, but only in the school once. Oh, so good. So brave, huh? Oh, he's so brave, huh? <laughs> Good girly. Peekaboo! She's not even looking at you. Peekaboo! Hi, honey. Peekaboo! So I'm just going to put the poles away and then I think it's almost lunchtime. Box is done. I feel so ill. I know I'm all like bobbly today, that's because loads of good things are happening, but physically I'm Strug City. I feel really ill. I think that's why I've got a cold sore. Also, my muscles are hurting from the gym um, and from riding. 
and I'll explain later about other stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and try and edit this vlog quickly because it's actually Saturday and this needs to be finitoed by tonight. So um, I'm gonna go and try and do some at lunch. So what do you think to my FEI video, ma'am? I'm very proud of you. I think you've done an excellent job. I think you work very hard. And I think it's very helpful to people understanding dressage. Oh! I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed because you've got the camera sticking in my face. And now are you going to be even more proud as we take our first home bread to a show? I hope so. I'll let you know. I hope so. Three hours. <laughs> ma'am. Here it is, guys. There it is, my video. How exciting. We're going to get the horses in. And then I can start getting well ready soon. No nipper? Kipper. Be nice. Oh. <laughs> I love how they do that. <laughs> You gotta go, you gotta go. She shits a lot. It's not like you can go to the loo somewhere. No. <laughs> she does poop a lot now. Does she? Yeah. She must eat a lot. She does eat a lot. She's a bit of a porker. Not like you, you're all streamlined. They normally do. Look, smile. Oh. He is all plastered up now and I'm going to get dressed and then I'm going to talk to you guys about stuff. And but what I want to speak to you guys about, because it's important to be truthful and real about this stuff. Um, so it's Molly's first show today and emotions wise I feel like I've been going woo. So this week he has been going more through the test stuff and it's a novice test and he's not quite ready for a novice test and I've mentioned before that if you want to do well competing and feel like comfortable and secure you need to be doing a level, you need to be training a level above what you're competing at. Um, because I can't qualify him prelim because I can't ride prelim. I'm doing a novice but then half of me was like why didn't I just do a prelim HC but then when I booked it I thought maybe he'd be a little bit further ahead than he is now but anyway like that's just too much detail um so he is not quite up to scratch with the test um we ran through it yesterday and it's the first time we've had to do like quick transitions next to each other. So for example, one corner I have to go walk, trot, the next corner I have to canter, and then do a 20 minute circle, give and retake the reins, stretch him. Like it all comes up quite fast. Um, so it will be interesting to see what happens. And yesterday I had a bit of a tricky day that I was running through the test and it was going really well. And then we tried to do the 20 minute circle off the right rein and he just kept um, <laughs> trying to go to the left and like sticking his head up in the air and running off. And I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Um, and I was getting a little bit worried. And then luckily now I can change it around. So when I feel myself getting like that, I was like, no, I just need to logically work him through it, work him through it and he was fine. And then after I got off him, a little bit of me was like, uh-oh, like what if he does this in the test? Um, 
and a little bit nervous for that. So I've had to pray over it loads because I'm not worried about the results. I'm not worried about him going and doing really well, but there is a side of me that is competitive. And of course, like I do want to do well. It's the first time I've taken him out. Of course I want to do well. So I'm kind of being like torn between two sides of my personality, the side where I'm like, it's okay, it's a young horse. We're just going to look after him. And then the other side, which is where I like, I want to be competitively successful. So as a mature person, I need to know that I need to more go with the side of let's just look after the horse today rather than the competitive side. But this doesn't mean that I should go in there and ride him all like backing off because then he's going to wonder what's going on. So what I've been praying for is to ride him with um, positivity and determination but to also not panic if something goes wrong, but to just keep riding through it. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. I'll be interesting to see what happens. I need to be mature about it. Um, and that's basically all I've got to say. So yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys more after I've done it and see how it went and chat a little bit about that but at the moment i'm just trying to not take the show too seriously um yeah anyway let's go you're right mal and we are all ready for our first show ah! <laughs> Starts to show mature, mature Is he what? When do they start to, you know, look around there? <laughs> hey, that's a point. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> Should be wanting to do well because you're here. Exuberance of youth. Oh, of course, you meant to zoom on this as well. Don't know how to do that. Oh, there we go. Oh, I get so nervous for her. Doing well. Yeah, you got it. A bit more late. Oh, I'll get in so much trouble if I do a bad job of this. What's my better for you? What's he looking at the sign? He's trying to read something. <laughs> What's the task there? 
Pardon? Well, imagine trying to get a child to do something like well, that. Well, yeah, and being shot in here on your own when the others are in there. It's quite a brave thing they have to do to start with because they're, <coughs> they're herd animals, aren't they? Um, well, yeah, I suppose he's happy enough with Olivia. I don't think he trusts her. Hopefully he'll go to her to... Was that alright? Was that a bit early? I don't know. I think it's in between. She's got to stay in Canada yet. on. Oh god, she's going for the medium canter. She's what? Gone for the medium canter. I don't know if she'll pull up again. He's certainly going. Good boy. Don't walk up there. Oh. I need to stop them doing that. He's a bugger, isn't he? How the hell do you stop him doing that? Then? What, those people? I need to read the signs. Yeah, he's very interested by the signs. Very interested. Let's <laughs> hope she turns here because we had a bit of trouble with this the other day. What's that mean? Oh, right. We pissed off with her the other day when she did this. Go on, ride it, keep your leg on, be brave. Remember to ride for a nine. Thing is, it's going to take a good handful, isn't it? Oh, steady. Be brave, ride for a nine so she does and I go steady. Good. Fantastic. That was good. A lot better than the other one on the top left. Lovely. Wow, I couldn't be more pleased. Gosh, even I'm pleased. That's Is that a rarity? Oh, yeah. Really? I am a big critic. I'm delighted with that. No, just finish it off, mate. It's oh, a bit of a heap, but that. <laughs> it was highly entertaining yesterday. What colour is it? Red. It's a red rosette for a ball van. Oh <laughs> Mum! Every time you're so pessimistic. You 72. Oh. God, that's really good. And he got sixes for his walk, so can you imagine when he's not... When he's not dicking around with the walk. Uh, my little homebred. You get it? Are you going to frame that? Yeah. With the rose? I am. <laughs> rose. Rosette, sorry. Can't read it. Are you, you're going to, you're getting teary. You are rolling up a bit. Very proud of my little children. Come on, let's go home to gym. She was proud of me. Good boy! Really? Yeah. Trying to make her a little bit.
So I'm just gonna show Laura the test and then I'm gonna talk to you guys. I feel like I'm walking on a cloud. <sighs> Doesn't he? Oh my God. Yep. Look at me twatting. <laughs> Big twatting. That's it's about all he does. Ready, doesn't it? Mm. She didn't give him much time either. Mm. Like butter wouldn't melt, isn't he? Yes, I've been doing this all my life. Bye. Oh, doesn't he look like his mummy? You think he's been doing it forever? You think this is like his like tenth show, not his first one? <laughs> I don't peel potato, I don't well, we peel the skin off. We had a little bit of trouble off. with that yesterday. And then just put it, chop it and put it in while it's living. Oh, it's just as the quickest curry thing you'll ever see. <laughs> what a bastard! Okay, the downwards transition needs to work. But apart from that, we're fine. So I'm only four? No, I even do my little sweatshirt! Oh my god, it's stretchy top now. We still need to work on our downwards transitions. Oh, Okay. I just don't know how to. I don't know how to put this into words. Um. So he was amazing. Literally, I can't fault anything he did in the test. Um, in the warm-up he was a little bit nervous to start with so I took the pressure off and just let him chundle around for a bit and then um, that was like for two minutes and then we just started to work him and he just felt like really on the button and everything was easy. Um, I didn't fixate on the right hand transition and turning I just practiced it like once and it went fine so I left it um, and then I took him into the test. It's hard to put into words something that you have been waiting for for so much of your life um it's just it's more than like a clean novice test it's the fact that i feel like a good rider um and i'm actually really proud of myself that i've trained that horse i've taken him to his first show i've given him confidence and i can feel the difference from me being confident it's made on the horses, especially the young horses, and it's quite emotional. Because it has not been an easy journey at all, and the amount of times I have felt like anxious and terrible and wondering if I should be a rider and wondering if I was, if this was my purpose in life, if this was what I should be pursuing, um, doubting that it it's the right path for me I've doubted it so much it's ridiculous and now I feel like it's falling into place and I really think that a lot of that is to do with um, God and I know that if you're not a Christian it's gonna sound really crazy but I've been praying over it a lot if it's what God wants me to do with my life um, because I know I've had like messages about the social media and that's definitely something that he wants me to do and all that but I was like is riding really what you want me to do because if it is then why has it been so difficult and I'm now starting to figure out that if God wants you to do something it doesn't mean it's going to be easy but he's building your character in in it and he's building your character through the learning process and if I had been born the perfect rider, I one wouldn't be able to sit here and talk to you guys about how I have changed my mindset around. It wouldn't mean as much to me. I'd probably take it for granted. I'd probably take everything I have more for granted. But now I can enjoy it so much more. So um, it's just quite emotional. And it's not only that, um, I got some news this week and I can't tell you what it is yet, but next year is just gonna be like mind blowing. And 
the opportunity I've been given is like ridiculous for my riding and my riding career and I literally can't believe how lucky I am. Um, I feel so emotional. But I just, I feel like it's all falling into place and I feel like my purpose in life is, I feel like my purpose in life is training these horses, working with these horses, um, horsemanship. Um, and it's the most amazing feeling to know that you were born to do something that you're doing. And I hope you can all take me seriously with my cold sore. But anyway, I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. Um, but that is the end of the vlog, guys. I am going to go to Carol's and have some dinner and see her. And then come home and edit this. Tomorrow I am having a bit of a family day because my brother's back. That's who was with me at the show, by the way. Um, and then I've got one more day so I go to Australia and I just, there's part of me that really doesn't want to go now because I just want to stay here because there's so many blessings going on. But I also know it's a God thing for me to go to Australia. Um, such an amazing opportunity and I am excited and I'm going to be excited to come home as well. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Um, give it a thumbs up if you have. Share it. Tell your friends to join in on the OT journey. <sighs> and um, the next vlog I make will be me going to Australia. So have a very, very Merry Christmas, my lovely ones. And um, I'll see you in Oz. <laughs>